What, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing, Ryan? You know, um, what had happened was I uh, got this lead foot and uh, I was putting pedal to the metal down, you know, and uh, I was living by my motto that Ricky Bobby said, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> So uh, I was going close to two to three hundred miles an hour in the Chevy Equinox, and uh, old Trooper pulled me over. So it was working. We were getting there, and then uh, now we're not. I hope he doesn't know about my warrant in uh, South Dakota for killing three people. <laughs> That's a joke. That's oh a joke. my gosh. We're on our way. We're gonna get there one way or another. We but are. I mean, hey, we've been making good time. Yeah, we have. We have. Very good time, but uh, <clears throat> let's see. He's about to get out now. <laughs> Hopefully, he has good news. The RVM layer in the Onyx Hotel. Plus, use the code R. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We made it to South Dakota. We are uh, just walking up to get registered right now, and then we're gonna Make sure all the bows are tuned in and dialed up. It's gonna be a fun video, what do you think? What do yeah. I think? What do you think? I think you're gonna get out shot today, boy. You think so? Oh, all right, all right. Out. What do you think, Ryan? Uh, the over-under that I lose out of my 11 arrows, that I lose at least four today, pretty high. It's a good number. Confidence is key though, right? Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> here on the practice range. Got the microphone back in the camera bag because I'm not trying to get all my equipment ruined right now. We've got some rain going on, but it's making sure the sight tapes are dialed. We're about to head down to the tram and head up the mountain, but I'm gonna have to be putting the camera in and out of my bag periodically because we got a lot of rain coming in here. I'm sure the top of the mountain's not gonna be that much better, but here we go. All right, guys, so Ryan just dug through my pack and found my cell phone, but I'm putting my camera away because we've got a lot of rain going on. So a lot of this footage, at least the vlog style stuff, is gonna be uh, off the iPhone. So anyway, hopefully this lets up and we get some good DSLR footage, but iPhone it is. It's miserable. <laughs> Don't ever come here. <laughs> this is, this is, it's going to be hard to see the target, yeah, that's for sure. We just made it up to the top. Visibility is about 40 yards at this point, so <laughs> we'll see how we do this. Got it. We almost can't see the target. We're 48 yards and it's like completely concealed in fog. <laughs> I do have a gripper. It's in my, it's in this pouch. A couple on him. That's where I am.
right guys, we're probably about halfway through the course. I think that was target 13 maybe. Had a pretty good group right there. The rain has slowed down significantly. The fog is pretty well gone. So uh, we're having a good time now. It was pretty bad this morning. It was like pouring rain, sideways wind, and uh, lots of fog. You could barely even see what the heck you were doing. But yeah, it's been fun. I'm looking forward to some food tonight. Hopefully uh, they got something good down at base camp. Definitely a little left. I think I was, I wasn't paying attention to my bubble at all. I was so focused on trying to get it up underneath there. <laughs> and I was like, it was probably buried on the left. It was probably buried. <laughs> Alright guys, well, um, the rest of your 50 minutes, I'm going to drone out, let me, y'all go ahead and I'll just catch yeah. up, but, uh, it'll be a sweet, right here, I'll just left down, go ahead, just float it right above the target. Oh yeah buddy, that one felt really good. I think it's just gotta get her done. Oh, that a pumped her. <laughs> that a pumped her. Good shot, bro. Got shots. It's gonna be like up underneath. That'll do. That'll do her. Alright, guys, we just stopped here for a little bit to grab a snack break, take off some clothes because. We uh, finally got out of the heavy rain and the drizzle. So we just took off some clothes. We've got target 18 up here. And then uh, we're gonna keep shooting the course down, get down to the bottom and run the practice range a little bit more and then find some food because the little snacks we did bring was not enough. Well, I didn't bring anything. These guys brought all the snacks. And Oh, you brought snacks? I brought snacks. Nobody even asked me. I did not bring snacks. Y'all started. Cheating off of them. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, more food for me. <laughs> I'll eat my own. Barely Ethan brought snacks. We did not. Ryan and I are insufficient. So anyway, you're gonna keep shooting. <laughs> Dingo 20. Dingo 20. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back to home base. Great day on the mountain. Like we said, tough, tough weather this morning, but it played out really well about midday and uh, we got some really, really good shooting in. So it was fun. We're back down here. We're going to be looking for food real soon, but we got Ryan throwing up the drone over here. He's going to get some shots over home base and uh, the practice range. We'll go find some food and uh, go get checked into the Airbnb. We're going to be here today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So anyway, I'm going to have several other videos coming out. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun day. Anyway, if you guys would like to help support the brand, you can hop over to whitetailfit.com and grab yourself 
a hat, t-shirt, you can get yourself some whitetail fit veins and wraps. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff over there. So just whitetailfit.com, go check it out. I appreciate you guys. If you like this video, please remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. In the darkness for 40 days